Hello and welcome. We are talking here about the problem solving course. I'm Maria. This is Elisa. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so um, let us start and we'll start okay. with a tough question about dreams. So what are your mathematical dreams about your kids? My mathematical dreams? What? Or genes. Dreams. <laughs> dreams. Okay. Um, I would like them to be uh, capable of figuring out whatever it is that they want to figure out mathematically for it not to be, you know, a scary thing that they are trying to avoid at all costs. Um, just a natural part of life. A natural part of life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you say not scary. Yeah. <laughs> Intimidating, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you talk more about the natural part of life? What would it, what it mean when you well, get there? <laughs> being able to recognize when uh, some sort of mathematical application is needed in trying to figure out a problem in their lives financially, um, in their jobs, trying to make predictions about things they, you know, how they should make decisions in the future, that sort of thing. So applied things, yes. basically what, what happens, seeing math in problems that come up and right, right. connecting. So how is it working so far with the applied? Um, well, I have, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Not great. Um, some of my I have I have five kids, um, and some of them uh, get the idea better than others. So, how do you go about it? About this applied dream, Those... teaching, teaching math, right. um, doing um, financial, you know, uh, money type of problems. Um, baking, cooking type of problems, and math programs. Okay. Uh, so uh, about math programs, how, what sort of programs and how do they connect to that, what, what you want? Um, well, we've, I have used um, several, many years ago, several different curriculums. Um, right now we use Matthew C, mm -hmm. which I... I met Steve Demi at a homeschool conference and absolutely fell in love with the way that he, you know, uh, showed how math works. Um, pretty much one, the one thing that stood out to me was he held up a block with, you know, uh, you know, like little, little blocks in it. And he said, this is um, the, uh, some property, I can't remember right now, of math. Uh, you know, this is four times five uh, commutative. Uh, this is four times five, and this is the same four times five. You know, he just he just made it very visual and understandable. Um, so we use basically math, you see. But I have uh, one child um, who doesn't really understand why he needs to learn anything unless it's important to his life right then, at that moment. So I have to be a little bit more creative in showing him how this can be important to him, or else he really doesn't cooperate. <laughs> so much. even if you see the commutative property in the block rotating, yeah, he wouldn't go for it just because it's neat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> unless he sees the importance of it in his, you know, in his world. His so and unless it's something world. like this carpet, this room is four by five, and it fits exactly the same number of tiles as right. a five by four room. Something he, of he he gets it, mm -hmm. but uh, eventually, but he doesn't, he's not um, he involved. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do yeah. it unless if it's for something. So how, how do you go about it with him? Uh, very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm just, I try and point things out uh, in the course of the day. You know, like when we're buying something, pointing out these are decimals. Um, you know, so, so whatever comes up, yeah, right. He's not learning linearly, mm -hmm. linear, 
you know, yeah, one after sure. the other. Like, he doesn't, we haven't done fractions yet. Um, but he does something else, whatever comes up, right? Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, if it was if, if it was in his Minecraft game, mm-hmm. he could yeah. learn it very well. <laughs> Zara, it's interesting you mentioned Minecraft. There are quite a few parents uh, in this group who are either themselves into Minecraft or their kids yeah. are. <laughs> yes, I, and I, I've heard many times that it is educational and there's things that they can learn in it, but I have not, I do not see that yet. <laughs> I guess maybe I haven't looked hard enough, but I, ha, you know, I have yet to understand that. I expect some people in this course will be applying the problems to Minecraft. Probably. So maybe you get to see what they do, or maybe yeah. you can invite your kid to do it. <laughs> yeah, they, and they would love that. <laughs> they would? Okay, yes. maybe they can do it. Maybe you can, you know, give them the problem and say, can you do that in Minecraft somehow? Yeah, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> that would be I interesting. What else do they like? You say they would really like it. Um, well, the, the other ones, um, my, my next son is very, he's more um, scientifically minded, like trying to figure out how things work. Um, he's a lot more open to learning new math concepts and understanding how it applies to his life. Just because. That sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Sorry? Just because, just to, to take yes. a concept and learn. Yes. Outside it's of a project or a game. Okay. Right, right. So it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting variable and uh, it's very interesting for me to see how you describe it. Uh, mm-hmm. how some someone uh, some kids want to just do abstract puzzles and some right. some want to do projects and particular more involved right. bigger things so for for science so how um um i guess uh, he would be into some experiments or observations huh he loves doing experiments when it when we do experiments uh in science or just to do them he's he's up for that all the time <laughs> some of the problems lend themselves to it mm-hmm. so you can take a problem and you can either do mathematical experiments try different numbers or try different ideas or you can mm-hmm. literally do one of the problems is about gears so you can literally build it and see how it works that he would love that and he <laughs> maybe he can change other problems to to be like right. that because it's all if, about if, changing problems. If he if he gets the idea that he can't, you know, if he's a, he thinks he's allowed to, and he's he's given that space, he'll he'll do that. He'll go for it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, maybe you can allow him. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'd like to. <laughs> okay. And um, and another thing. So you said five kids. So what are the others like? Um, well, the two oldest, my oldest one just graduated from high school. And oh. then the next, my daughter is a senior this year in high school, and she went to public school this year. And then the next one down, the middle one, is uh, going to be a ninth grader. And the next one down is going to be a sixth grader. And the next one down is going to be a third grader. Okay. So the third grader, the third grader just loves doing everything. He, <laughs> he does not discriminate at all. He likes everything. He likes playing. He likes playing with... Um, uh, thing you know real life things a lot more than my other the other two older ones um and i guess the middle one the most likes uh on screen you know electronics much hands down much more mm-hmm. okay so it would be very interesting to see i mean your family is a whole world unto itself so different <laughs> sort people. of yeah and you you observe them i mean of course you, you homeschool so you 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 carefully observe I them have and... time to do that <laughs> well you you have time with with kids so right right okay so so yeah just invite them give them permission to to be open because that's the whole point of this exercise yeah yes <laughs> and see what happens i can't wait to see what happens i mean neither. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know right what an adventure no they're sometimes they're a lot smarter than i am so, <laughs> so uh, a lot of everybody um uh, everybody says that kids do things we wish we would understand 
right? right. It, right. it always happens. They are amazing. They, they create. They make things mm -hmm. up. Yes. So let's, yeah. let's try. I hope people will capture things and say, oh, my kid did this. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Right. <laughs> someone, I uh, we brainstorm like that sometimes. My kid did this. I have no idea. Right. <laughs> so right. so anyway, um, these were my questions about dreams. So it makes sense. Um, so you want these connections, and I hear you didn't say it, but I hear it that you want to follow the interests of your kids. Yes. Yes. Because you want them to do what they are about. <laughs> Right. Well, I want them to, I want them to, the, the most important thing to me is I want them to always love to learn more, you know, and know that that's an exciting thing. It's an interesting thing. Um, it's in their best interest, really, to you know, always be searching out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, so learn more, want to learn more, go beyond yeah. this yes. sort of thing. Wonderful. Exactly. <laughs> It's important. It's 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 what it's all about. <laughs> okay. You're right. You're right. Okay. So um, tell me, uh, we are here and talking. Do you have any questions about the course? Ideas? Anything you'd like to share? Um. No. I I don't think I have a total grasp of how this is going to work. I've read it over a few times, and I'm, but I'm not real sure. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, blindfolded, just going to do it. You know? <laughs> okay. So today I uh, put up the first three problems uh, okay. that we created. So, well, the first three, I should say sets of problems because they are different for different levels. So right. they are available. It's a file. You can look at it online or download it as a PDF. Okay. And you can look at it um, and the, your task this week, your mission this week, is to figure out should you choose to accept it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> is um, to figure out what you'll do with the kids. Right. Look at the problem. Maybe you'll invite them to do it in Minecraft. Maybe you'll invite them to ch change the problems. Maybe they'll teach one another somehow. Whatever, right. it's up to you. And share some this some of these plans in that okay. place on on the forum. So um, you also um, well, uh, if you have any questions, put them on the forum. And okay. uh, you need to. Um, I um, I think you already answered the first four questions for sign up, so you are good on that. <laughs> and <laughs> so um, that's what we are doing this week. We are planning. Okay. Okay. So everybody will be planning in this one thread, and so you'll okay. see what other people are doing. They they will see you if you have. Then I'll understand what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works for for all of us. We see what people do. It helps. <laughs> Kids learn right. like that too, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's one reason I try to have everything in one public place so people see. I do right. the same thing when I, when I teach college. Everybody can see everybody's answers. That's a good idea. Because, you know, everybody's doing different things anyway, so it's just more, more learning for everybody. Right. Okay. Right. Okay, so uh, that's what we're doing this week. Take a look. I sent an email today, so okay. you I'll have go it, check it out. Right, and uh, then we'll do the same thing pretty much every week. Plan. Okay. And then tell uh, next week we'll run the problems with the kids. So the goal will be to share what happened. Okay. So whatever you, good. you want to share. Does it make sense? That, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. If you ever have questions, you know where I am uh, in okay. on Facebook or by email. And also, you can ask questions of everybody in the course on that forum. Okay. So All right. That sounds great. We have uh, good people there, parents, uh, educators. So people Excellent. will help. Okay. Uh, thank you right. very much. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye.